Hello fellow Pokemons with Mr. Who Reviews. Today we doing Pokemon Journeys, the series, episode 39, Satoshi vs. B. Overcoming Octolog or Breathlog, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, before I get to that, I'll have to talk a little bit, like, a little bit about the last week's episode. It's okay, it looks like uh, uh, Satoshi go, we call Haru go to, uh, the Peter City uh, Fossil Museum and just uh, have go uh, catch Aerodactyl and just some further character development for Koharu. And some good thing can see probably her goal like will probably be a researcher like get her dad. But uh, I have to see and I don't know why they didn't put Brock or maybe one of, one of his family into this since they, they are in Peter City still. And I think Brock's uh, brother Forger is that still running the Peter City gym, but I have no idea. Anyway, uh, back to this episode. And then this, uh, Tulsi is training with the Riolu and Pikachu for his rematch against B. And go to comes up same same they're going to the Johto reason and turn out they're going to Chuck's uh flying type gym and turn out the bead in the middle of a battle when the uh, what with Chuck and the uh, Toast just goes into the room and the uh, wrote on phone just uh, doing the the whole uh whole championship thing just saying some zero sounds or something like that. Uh, I do feel like like that Chuck members uh Chelsea even so a bit of a flashback of their battle was pretty good. Uh he just allows uh Chelsea I guess Chelsea permission to battle B in his uh, gym. And so now that B is on a new Pokemon him on top and uh, it's facing uh, Chelsea's Pikachu. Yeah I Guessing uh, that they're gonna have a uh, Firefest uh, come back in their tour battle, but I can see. And I do kind of like that when uh, Pikachu uses uh, an extra web on him on top, B just has to hook up spinning to get rid of the web. And then so they just have Pikachu left web on the entire uh, battlefield. But it's kind of good that they're taking the top down with an iron tail. Yeah. Uh, like last time, the biggest challenge for Chelsea is a uh, Octolog, especially uh, when Pikachu gets it, gets stuck in the Octolog's uh, tentacles, not able to use Thunderbolt or uh, Iron Tail because it's squeezing them so hard and it not enough room to move. And I do like uh, when the uh, Pikachu is clear defeated, the uh, Yoru just goes up, suddenly sees okay, and then gives him the uh, uh, a payback ride back to Satoshi. And the rematch that we're waiting for is uh, going on with Dr. Law versus Riolu, and I feel like Riolu has got out of Dr. Law's tentacles just by relaxing and using his uh, or to break through, which is quite good. And after that, B as Satoshi seemed to be into the battle, but it turns out it's a draw. Um, yeah, I do, uh, I did kind of expect this to happen, but not fully exactly, probably about 45, 60% effective. And I guess we're gonna go something, get V, uh, it's also the uh, secondary rival in, in this, but the Anansi's, and these personalities seem to be bit different day uh, here than in the first uh, episode season since it seems a bit uh, nicer to Satoshi, Pikachu and Yolu even off from some uh, food when uh, uh, Chuck has everybody eaten together and Satoshi and B to be getting a lot bit better and that's becoming the bit of rivals and just uh, look forward to their next battle against each other. 
Uh, there's a girl called Ming Xiao. Well, not Ming Xiao, uh, Sim Xiao. The, the electric war type with the antennae from Zozo, I forget the name. So, mm -hmm. And I quite like the way that Zozo is back to the Sigmar Lab, he peeks around with him. Some puss ups. I guess he's just determined to uh, beat the uh, bee. Okay, I think this is a good episode. Um, the battle did seem a bit. a, a bit, uh. a bit, uh, harsh, but I don't know. I don't think it's as, as harsh as the. as be first battle against Satoshi, but maybe the turbo leads to that. Maybe the turbo will be in, like, a uh, Holland or Sinnoh since uh, their fights I bet Jim's there as well. Or maybe uh, the Toshio fight face said uh, be in her own gym and able to Gigantamax uh, his Pokemon or Dynamax, whatever. And we did kinda hope that Real would, would evolve it's a, in this episode. But so it's a uh, character development. And that uh, um the uh, next week be a uh, week break but it did so a preview of the next few episodes like uh, go trying to catch that Zapdos in a raid battle um the one I don't know so if I'm Marisom I guess it's a wild one but maybe they were brought back we'll see and uh, the darkest day for episode er uh, yeah, I like a lot of people. I think they're doing it too soon. And I heard that the Riolu and Drapu might be evolving in a at some point in those episodes. I think it's good, but I hope that pick some else. And some people have theories that the Toshi will catch the the legendary or the the box the legendary Pokemon for Pokemon Sword. Uh, I don't know. And um, Mewtwo is going to open in an episode for the first time. Yeah, they kind of cameo. Does it and does, does, does connect to that scene in the first movie with the series? But this is actually the first time Mewtwo will be in the anime series. And I kind of uh, suspect that the uh, Satoshi will probably catch. Uh, you too, since Go is trying to cast them new, I think it make a bit, a bit more sense for that, but don't know. And it's really clear if this is the Mew 2 from the fourth movie and the uh, Mew 2 returns, or it's the Mew 2 from uh, the uh, Genesect movie, but you know. And the music one. This and as I said, the battle was it was that good, but I think uh, the the first B battle was a bit better, and hopefully the third one be uh, better than uh, that. Um, also, um, but I guess it's either go or Tulsi will uh, catch uh, Internalus in the darkest day air. Maybe uh, that's why uh, there's a purple ball, or he's got a purple ball with the Toshi's uh, team. They get the here go. You got a mass ball to capture uh, Internus, but do you know? I don't want to see, and I do hope that they uh, bring in those uh, uh, rich noblemen from uh, the Sword and Steel games. That's all. When you're bringing back uh, the the artifacts they call it as Xerneas or Denitenta. Don't know about the name right. I think this would be good to for that man and I do hope that eventually the main uh Marnie it's uh, I think it'd be a big I think it'd be, it might be a good character to be a rival for Toshi and maybe to be like a little bit of a fangirl or something, uh, I don't know, this 
guess it here. It's something different from the game. And something different from that. So as well since something never really had a fine girl before. I think it'd be funny seeing this uh, trainer that specializes in poison and dar or dark types. I mean, with specializes in just go gaga over and so like Satoshi, but Satoshi got really take her as a or something. I don't know. I think we put good. And, uh, what? Else? Um, maybe after the first season, they're gonna do or they to do more episodes, bring back, uh, old characters, maybe, uh, and another, uh, battle between, uh, Chelsea and Karina. Or maybe bring in, uh, Clement and Bonnie when Chelsea is in Kalos again. And so people are thinking that the train that Lady and Gladion and their mom were on were in, was in Galar, so maybe they saw up there at some point. Yeah, that's uh, I don't know. I just look forward to the next BC Toasty battle, but I will see if it's good or not. Uh, I said, I said, you guys, wait.